Today we're going to talk about the new crook and marker spiked teas and spiked lemonades. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another kind of booze review and I guess it falls into the low carb keto carnivore category because crook and marker we remove, uh, reviewed one of their product uh, a few months ago. It was their spiked and sparkling uh, seltzer. Uh, that was uh, low, low carb, zero carb actually, and it had uh, erythritol in it. And it was uh, we we noted that it was really sweet, and we had to actually use only a quarter of of a can mixed in with other seltzers, and we made our little, little recipe, um, and, and we found it pretty good. And it was just really sweet, and we sort of kept it on the fringe. We didn't drink it all the time because uh, it was more expensive uh, per can, like. A lot more, uh, but uh, we discovered this. I don't know how long they've been out, but we discovered they have. Uh, we found out they had a spiked soda. They, had, I think, they had root beer and co uh, cola flavored, which we found were remarkably uh, similar tasting to actual Coke or Pepsi and uh, root beer, um, and they're pretty good. I, I can't find them around here recently, but I found out that. Uh, I got a spike a box of spiked teas. They come in sweet tea. Uh, lemon, raspberry, and peach, as well as a, I don't have the box here, but the lemonade, it was like plain lemonade, uh, watermelon, raspberry, and I think blueberry. Um, and we tried them both. They're eight packs, and they're about 16 bucks in eight packs, so they're about two dollars a can, whereas you can get uh, Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer for about 14 or 15 bucks a 12 pack, which is a little over a dollar a can. I wanted to add in post here that there's also a coconut flavor, which we may try uh, just once. These are, are profoundly more expensive. But anyway, I tried an eight pack of the lemonades and then I first, and I said, eh, they're all right, they're, they're flavorful. And then I had this spiked tea, which is, uh, if you had to pick between the two, the spiked tea is profoundly uh, better. It's it's really kind of amazing, in fact. But there's a little bit of a caveat here, and this is going to prevent me from being a regular consumer of these of these uh, drinks. Uh, number one, like I said, the same thing applies uh, to these spiked non-carbonated beverages. They're extremely sweet. I couldn't imagine drinking um, a can of this straight. It's so freaking sweet. This erythritol has an amazing sweet property to it that I'm not sure I'm too happy about. Um, I wonder how this green is going to come out on my green screen. It's probably going to be all fuzzy here. But anyway, um, so I, I diluted this half. And they have all sorts of, by the way, buzzwords, super green, organic, uh, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that stuff. I care about how it tastes and how do I feel the next day. So I, I down these. And there's two important caveats to know about these crook and marker drinks. Number one, the erythritol, um, I'm not 100% sure on what effect, because I don't drink erythritol at all, really. I mean, it's very infrequent. And these have, I think, three can, let me look here, three, three grams of erythritol per can. And if I split it up in half, it's like one and a half grams per drink. And like this right now is a drink that's half a can of iced tea or spiked tea and half a can of Smear it off, and then the rest is seltzer, uh, plain unalcohol seltzer. I mean, it's a powerfully powerful drink. I mean, it's a flavorful drink. I feel a little bit different when I eat or consume or drink erythritol, especially coming from someone who does doesn't eat any sugar, or any artificial sweeteners at all. It does something to you. It, it changes you. I can't I haven't put my finger on it quite yet. I think it might make you a little bit hungry. It might make you crave sweets. And I don't know if there's any official studies out there or not about it, but I don't think I'm going to, um, it's kind of addictive too, which is weird. I don't think I'm going to consume it anymore. I'll, I'll stick to my boring Smirnoff seltzers and, and, and try to stick with that because I don't like the way I feel when I'm, when something is controlling me. And I think the erythritol does something. And oh, that's the second thing about it. You, they're so 
smooth and and you just seem like just like a diet soda i used to pound diet sodas with the artificial the really lame artificial sugars our aspartame or whatever and i would pound them you drink more you drink more of these than you normally would with something that doesn't have the artificial sweetener i can say that for certain so you drink more and that's not something i don't want to have something control how much i drink i drink when i and alcohol is is addictive to begin with and you always have that one extra drink um but this you drink faster and you drink more so i like the way they taste i think um and that's not saying a lot if it's if it's something that's uh like a puppet controlling me and my mind and my body so they're more expensive you drink more and there's a suspicious kind of uh, effect on your body so overall i would not recommend these things if you want to give it a try for yourself Make sure you haven't had any sugar or any artificial sweetener for weeks before you try it and let me know how you feel. So that's it. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe and the button and all these other fruity things and uh, see you next video.